So from the molecular biology standpoint, their basic function is to, they essentially um, are incorporated into a protein complex in the cell. And they act as these guides which direct this protein complex to messenger RNAs. So the small RNAs base pair with messenger RNAs, and that delivers this protein complex to the messenger RNAs. And the protein complex uh, turns down expression of the protein that's produced from that messenger RNA. So that's the, that's the basic molecular biology. Um, in terms of cellular physiology, they seem to have evolved to regulate uh, these networks of gene expression. Each microRNA has sometimes hundreds of target messenger RNAs. So when a single microRNA is expressed, it can have very profound effects on cellular physiology because it's actually not, it's effect, even though it's itself only this very small RNA, it can influence the expression of hundreds of messenger RNAs. And that's why we think the effects that microRNAs can have in cells um, can be so potent because a single one can affect these very large networks of gene expression. And they're very, very highly conserved. Uh, you know, the microRNA that we're studying here is essentially identical in all vertebrates without any changes in the, at the nucleotide level. So the function of this microRNA is under a very uh, intense evolutionary pressure to be maintained. So, so that tells us that it's doing something very important. We actually don't know the physiologic function of this microRNA that we're studying in this paper. We don't know what it normally does. We know that it's there at high levels. We know that it has the ability to arrest proliferation in cancer cells, but what it's actually doing in normal cells is a mystery, and that's obviously something we're extremely interested in.